Did you know that Jesus never went to an Easter sunrise service? Mm -mm, no, never went to one. Never. Well, what did he celebrate? If he didn't celebrate Easter, what did he celebrate? Well, he kept the Passover. Remember the Passover. That's what he kept. That's what Jesus kept. He didn't keep Easter. He didn't go to a Sunday Easter sunrise service and watch the sun come up and say, that represents me. He didn't do that. He kept the Passover. Let's notice the scripture here. In Luke 2 and verse 40, And the child grew and waxed strong, speaking of Christ in the Spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. Yeah, that's right. Jesus kept the Passover. Now, what is the difference between Passover and Easter? Well, it's like the difference between day and night. That's the difference. The Passover is a memorial of Christ's suffering and death. Uh, Easter is about the resurrection of Christ. So you have one over here that is a memorial of his suffering and death, and one over here, Easter, about his re resurrection back to life. It, the difference is like between day and night. Now, now <clears throat> the lie that I want to mention here is that little word, Easter. Did you know that that word, what it actually means is Pasqua or Passover? That that word Easter is actually translated Passover? Now, here's the question you've got to wrap your mind around. Why did the King James translators, who translated the Bible from you know, Greek and Hebrew into English, why did they translate, why did they take this word that, that actually meant Passover and translate it Easter in the English? Because that's not what it means. It has nothing to do. Easter is a pagan uh, goddess of fertil fertility with all the pagan symbols of eggs and bunny rabbits, uh, procreation. That, that's what the word Easter comes from, Istar. So why did the King James take this word that meant Passover and translate it Easter? Because it's a, it's a lie. It's not what the word means. It means Passover. The word is Passover. The word is not Easter. Easter, that word is pagan to the core. It's not the word. The word is Passover. Again, do you like being lied to about the Bible? That's the question. Because, you, you know, you've just, with that translation, taking that word Passover and translating it into the English word Easter is a lie. It's an absolute lie. Now, a lot of people would say, well, look, Easter is a good thing. It's all about the resurrection of Christ. That's what Easter is all about. You know, it's, it's, uh, we go to Easter sunrise service, the rising of the sun, and it's all about the risen Savior. Okay. All right. Let's continue on in verse 26. Now, this is the verse I wanted to get to. It says, For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's resurrection till he come. Ha <laughs> ha! No, I'm just kidding. That's not what it said, was it? Let's look at it again. Let's put that back up there. Okay. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Well, wait a minute. You know, my question was, do you like being lied to about the Bible? Now, this says we show, by, by celebrating the Passover, we show the Lord's death. It's a memorial of his death and suffering. Okay, we show the Lord's death until he comes. Now, the last time I checked, I don't know about you, but the last time I checked, there's an enormous difference between death and resurrection. They are sort of the opposite of one another. Death, resurrection. And this scripture says, we do show the Lord's death, not his resurrection, until he comes. Now, my question is this. Do you like being lied to about the Bible? On whose authority are you showing the Lord's resurrection till he come? Oh, in other words, who, who gave you that? Who made that up? Who told you to do that? Well, I know the answer just as well as you do. Your church told you that. Your church told you that Easter is about celebrating the Lord's resurrection. And that's why you do it, because your preacher and your church says this is what we do. Is that really in the Bible? 
What you think is in the Bible is not.